Hello. Maybe you are new to the reading community and you have no idea where to start. It's just so overwhelming with everything online. Maybe you have been in the community for some time now and you're kind of trying to figure out what's going on or maybe you are a veteran and you are just here for a good time. Welcome, my name's Emily. I am an avid book reader. My credentials include being on BookTok since 2020, kind of behind the scenes. Please reference this list that I have been in the trenches. I have read some scary books but I've also loved so many books and reading has changed my life. If you were that kid in elementary school that with the reading challenges, it was like no problem to read like how many hours it was a week, I see you. We are the same, I'm glad we've established that. But today we're gonna talk about what you need to know genre wise, what's kind of going on on like booktube, booktok, bookstagram, just like the reading community in general. We're gonna go over kind of like the different categories, what are most popular, what you kind of what you need, wanna look for if you're like newer. We're gonna go over some really common lingo that is used online, like TBR, HEA, MCs, smut. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna go over my recommendations of what I truly believe are good recommendations that you can find online. And then some books that I think just don't get enough attention and they deserve more. So let's start right off. So first thing to note is kind of figuring out if you like fiction versus nonfiction. Fiction is make-believe, it's not real. Nonfiction tends to be based off of like real events, autobiographies, memoirs, stuff like that. I will note most of the reading community or at least the side I am on. And I will quick disclaimer, this is all coming from my side of what I have seen. I'm clearly not on all of the reading spaces. There's my For You page is very much catered to me. What I find and what my reading preferences are is completely kind of along lines of what I like and yours might be different your for you page might look different and that's okay it's totally okay so first and foremost figure out if you like fiction or nonfiction. I'm personally a fictional girl there are enough issues in the world I typically read to disassociate from the world issues that are happening all around us now is it a healthy coping mechanism no but at this point if I think too much about anything I will not be okay. So <laughs> anyway, the different genres to look out for, especially in from a fictional standpoint, romance and fantasy are kind of two of the biggest, most popular ones. You also might hear the term romanticy. This is like romance and fantasy together, you know? Like it's typically fantasy with an underlying romance subplot there's also horror thriller and suspense is pretty popular as well there's also a decent amount of like historical fiction i found and science fiction so that's super fun hold on a second i just got a espn notification did pretty win <gasps> oh my gosh we lost you know what anyway we have bigger fish to fry who cares who cares about a big ten tournament literally we already have the conference and good, I wanted our people to be rested because we have bigger fish to fry. Anywho, something else really important to note is the distinction between young adult, YA and NA, newer adult. This is really important to know. I feel like this is something that maybe the age ranges aren't as well known, but like young adult is catered toward the ages of like 12 to 18, technically the ages of the characters fall into this range as well. And then new adult is more of the like coming of age stories, the college aged characters like 18 to like 22, 23, 24, kind of those ranges. So something very important to note because there are a lot of YA young adult recommendations out there, but I found that sometimes the expectations about things that might happen are not always well established. So, and then nonfiction, I've just mostly seen like the most popular ones being like memoirs, biographies, self-help books, stuff like that. 
Let's talk about the lingo. More gonna fly through these. You might see them online, but it's important to know. So TBR, you might see like my physical TBR. I just added this book to my TBR. This is to be read. This is someone's like, think of it as like a reading wish list. Like they plan to read it at some point. A lot of people, I don't know if I say a lot, but some people do like physical TBRs where they'll have a physical stack of books that they want to read, that they have, but also like if you utilize any of the like reading tracking sites are also is something that is like a two reader section in that so people refer to. Another popular term is HEA. This is happily ever after. This took me a really long time to figure this one out and a common question or what you might be seeing or when you might see this in context is like, does the story have an HEA? And people want to know like, is there a happy ending? Cause sometimes there isn't. And sometimes you want to go into a book wanting to know that and that's okay unless you like pain and you don't really you're like maybe i don't want an hea anyway another popular term used is dnf this is did not finish sometimes people like will write in their reviews or they'll say like i dnf this book or whatever reason you're reading through it and you can't finish it for whatever reason i have dnf'd my fair share of books so no judgment here, but also I know some people are like, I'm gonna stick this out. Totally fine, do whatever you like. Another popular term is ARC, A-R-C. This is advanced reader copy. This is a huge privilege when someone receives a copy of a book ahead of time from an author where it's either they can like advertise it or sometimes people send out arcs for like final edits and feedback. I had my pleasure of getting my first arc a couple weeks ago or so, so very exciting. I think sometimes there might be money involved with arcs. Like I'll send you one, but you have to like promote it. That's why it's, it's just important. Like, I don't know. I, all of my opinions and my book opinions no one is paying for it's completely me unfiltered i feel very strongly about my opinions but it's just something important to note that typically the arcs are utilized to like advertise the books more so people are like talking about it more but that's that next phrase i don't know if i'd say this is a reading community phrase but tw trigger warning this is really important especially if there are more sensitive topics being utilized this is something that authors should be getting better at disclosing at the beginning of their book, or it'll be like, go to this link to check out the trigger warnings. If you know there are topics that you will react to or don't sit well with you, definitely be sure to always check out the trigger warnings first. Another term, smut. So this is the spice level of the book. This is a happy-go-lucky time. yeah a lot of my family members watch my videos so we're gonna leave it at that and i encourage you to do some googling you'll find out quickly oh don't worry another common term used in the reading community is trope this marketing strategy has become more prevalent where books are being advertised based on their tropes so examples of tropes like this is something that is a very specific like something happens like a certain event happens or the way typically in romance book romantic books like how they get together so like common tropes are like enemies to lovers the one bed or they like hate everyone but you they'll unalive the world for you friends to lovers why am I blanking on any other trope? Fake dating, oh, fake dating is huge in the reading community. And you can kind of guess what it is based off the, the two words. But those are different tropes. Something that's very much being advertised. I don't know if I feel, how I feel about it, but that's just how a lot of books are being advertised by like what tropes are incorporated in the story. Another common term is MCs. This is not microphone. Does that stand for something else? MC? Like I'm yeah, MCing tonight. No, it's, it stands for main characters. You'll either see like 
FMC, MMMC, that's female main character, male main character, MCs. Easy enough. Our next one, tip very commonly used, is morally gray. Morally gray, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Going back to our tropes, this character, let's say like a chaotic neutral or like they might do some sketchy things on the side, but they are not afraid to take someone out for the one they love. So like from a morality standpoint, you know, unaliving people is not okay. But in the world of reading, make believe, some people are okay with that. It's like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's morally great. Another very common term, commonly used term is cinnamon roll. This is just a character that is incredibly sweet and cute and literally like, the biggest thing is the sweetness factor. Like, oh my gosh, they're such a little cinnamon roll. And they're typically very cute. Morally gray cinnamon roll, that'd be crazy. That would be crazy. I'm sure they exist somewhere, but that's, that's fun. Another very common term is grumpy ex sunshine. This is where one character like hates the world, is very grumpy, like doesn't like anyone. And then the sunshine character is very bubbly and energetic and happy and they're in love and it's cute. This might be one of the most common phrases used in the reading community is enemies to lovers. Everyone loves a good enemies to lovers. Enemies to lovers, I feel like in my opinion is utilized a little bit too much. Like sometimes like, sometimes it crosses the line of like being a bully. I'm not into bully romances. I will know like if you're gonna be a bully, no, there's a difference. But I imagine, like, I feel like Enemies to Lovers works really well in, like, fantasy where they're, like, literally on opposite sides of a war or they're, like, fighting, and then they eventually fall in love. The modern day of Enemies to Lovers, I'm like, hmm. I don't know about that. Another common one that kind of goes over into this is, like, Friends to Lovers. Very self-explanatory. And then I mentioned these for a second, like, Book Talk, BookTube, Bookstagram. Book Talk is tiktok's platform of the reading community bookstagram is instagram's little reading community mm -hmm. and then booktube is youtube's reading community these are common phrases you'll hear and whatnot this is something i forgot to note if you want to track what you're reading or mm -hmm. you want to participate in like reading challenges where you're looking for other recommendations besides social media sites even those, these kind of our social media i would check out goodreads and storygraph i will my usernames are here where you can find me at both. I'll also include it in the bio if you want to be friends on that. But a lot of people utilize both of these sites. Book reads, I would, book reads, what? No, good reads, I will know like a lot more people use, I feel. I've heard some complaints about the mobile version. I don't really have any complaints about it. I just mostly track my books and then look at reviews on there and I'll use my desktop to write the reviews and whatnot. But that's a really great place to kind of see what other people are saying and whatnot about the books or like if you're looking for different recommendations there are also giveaways on both of these so definitely check those out story graphs i like a lot because it encourages you in my opinion to diversify your reading feed quite a bit i'm part of the i think it's uh the genre diversity challenge this year along with trying to hit my 100 book goal we're on our way. But Storygraph is really cool. It asks a lot more specific questions about books, which helps readers kind of figure out what they're looking for. It does specifically ask for trigger warnings, which I really appreciate that it's asking for that. And then I also heard that the stats at the end of the year are better for Storygraph because everyone likes to show off their little reading stats. So I, this is my first year trying out Storygraph. I've been on Goodreads for probably like four years now, but it's fun. Highly recommend checking them out and it's free. Yay. The last section we're gonna talk about are book recommendations. So I'm gonna go over popular, I'm gonna call them book talk because that's where I've spent most of my time. I'm gonna go over popular book talk books and if I, these are ones I legitimately believe they should be getting the hype. And then we're gonna go over ones that I've sometimes seen on book talk. And then we're gonna go over ones that I've not seen on book talk and I will kind of disclose the reasons and why they should be getting more attention. So let's start right off into our first book talk recommendation. If you're anywhere in this space or in the romance space, you've probably heard of Miss Emily Henry. Woo! We share her name. 
that's mostly just for me. So as you can clearly see, I don't like to buy books that I don't enjoy. So most, like if I own a physical book, there's a high chance I like it or it was a gift. Or I bought it for the cover and I made a very bad impulse decision and did not read it quick enough where I can return it. But anyway, Miss Emily Henry, I, if you're a romance lover, highly, highly recommend. Out of all of these, this book changed lives. I'm not even kidding. Like, highly, 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 highly recommend reading it. But if you're kind of new to the game, you like some good romance, modern day romance with like a family value, strong family values, which I feel, definitely recommend checking this out. I will also quickly note that I spend most of my time in the romance space and a lot in fantasy, so most of these recommendations are gonna kind of fall along that. If neither of those are your deal, totally understandable. I get it, just mine are gonna kind of fall into that a little bit more. You might have seen the Twisted series by Miss Anna Huang. We love our Asian author. I'm always trying to read more diversity. But also, this is really cute. Follows a group, a friend group of four girls and super fun love diverse characters support poc authors you guys support poc authors what are you doing highly recommend romance college aged new adultish romance fun another series that i would recommend that's popular in book talk is the king of sins series this is an ongoing series any of these can be read as standalones, I would recommend though reading them in order. Maybe not the Twisted series quite as much. I will know that I actually, I think I read the second one first and then I started over, but it helps because the, the Anna Huang multiverse, kind of a lot of the characters pop up. King of Sins, you can read these separately, but a lot of the characters are interconnected. So I recommend reading it. This one's super cute. These are, they're probably like, They've got to be upper 20s, lower 30s at this point, I think, or like around those ages for these. Twisted series is more like younger. They're a little bit older here. Still like modern day romances, spicy books. Very fun. POC authors, support them. Our next series. Woo Our next series. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm like tripping all over the place. You might notice my bookshelf's a little empty right now. It's because all the books I like want to talk about are on the floor in front of me right now. So I did not mean to scream that loud. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to my neighbors. Huh. Anyway, next series is the Folk of Air series. Cruel Prince, I have collector's edition. You can't even like, can you register? <gasps> Look how pretty it is. It's like velvety. I love touching this book. Our Queen Jude. This is a romanticy book. If you like strong female characters who just girl boss to the end, highly, highly recommend this series. This is a very, very popular book talk series because of the romance and they really like the two main characters, the two MCs, if you will. Our next recommendation, oh, oh this one, oh my gosh. This book actually has a sequel coming out this year which i'm so excited for this is a young adult romance it is set in high school there's a fake dating trope for all the people who if you're picking up on the terms now this is literally like one of the most the sweetest romances i've ever read i literally was like oh my gosh and i'm so excited for the sequel i legitimately cannot wait and probably will be doing a review so check back in in October when that comes out and I'll have a review on the sequel, but highly, highly, highly recommend. So cute, literally so cute. Our next recommendation I do not own because it is the first book of a series. I do not, okay, that's a lie because I clearly have some books. This is a series that I don't know how it's going to end. It's a romanticy series. The book is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This book, Miss Lauren Roberts literally changed lives. Lives were changed. But, oh my gosh, like, oh, I can't even like explain how much I like this book. 
but I do not own it because the second book is coming out in July. I will be doing a review. Subscribe and stick around. But I don't like to buy series if I don't know how it's going to end. <gasps> I just said- I couldn't find that in your Apple Music Library. You can ask me to play a radio station or ask for your music on a different app. No, thank you. I just said series and I thought I said series. Always say thank you to your Alexas and series. Because when the world gets taken over by robots, they're going to remember that. Or else I like to think they will. But anywho, I don't know how it's going to end. So I just am very, I don't know if I want to own it. I don't own all of the King of Sins books, obviously, because there's seven of them and there's only three out right now but they're not like really all connected very plot wise. So I'm okay owning them independently. But anyway, oh my gosh, Powell was so good. Like the, the plot twists are crazy. I love the main character, I love another strong female character and there's magic, oh my God. It's so good, so good. Our next recommendation, this, so it's technically a series. It's a compilation of five books, but thank goodness they sold it as one because this is much easier than five books. This series, oh my gosh, Lana Myers can do no wrong. Eventually about a girl who, because of a childhood traumatic accident, she goes around unaliving all these people that screwed her over. Remember when we talked about morally gray? Miss Lana May Myers. When it comes to reading, there are some things we, it's, it's kind of a joke in the reading community, at least what I've seen, is like unaliving, taking people out is okay, but we draw the line at cheating. And accidental, accidental pregnancies, oh my God. Oh my God. Automatic DNF. But anyway, this is a strong female character, girl boss, literally love her. Oh, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. And the main character is like an FBI agent investigating her, but obviously he doesn't know it's her, but they're romantically involved, but he's hunting her down. It's so good. Read the Mindfuck series, read it. I just wanna talk about books all day. Let's start a book club. Who wants to start a book club with me? Our last book talk recommendation from Look Off With Love by Miss Mariana Zabata. Another POC author, I believe. I believe she's Latina. I'm so sorry if I got that wrong. I'm gonna double check right now. Editing Emily. Future Emily, please check. I'm pretty sure she is. Yep, she is. I love sports romances. This is an ice skating romance. Some people might call this enemies to lovers. They're ice skating rivals is that really an enemy maybe rivals to lovers anywho ice skating romance all you need to know so cute and the, the main character the female main character is half filipino i will note i kind of wish that point was utilized more throughout the book but you know what we can't all be perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into recommendations that I've kind of seen on Book Talk, but I feel like they don't really get all that much love. So first one we're gonna recommend is the Shepherd King duology. Oh my gosh. Another romantic book. Think like magic and powers, but like crazy plot twists and like puzzles you're trying to figure out what's going on you guys also look how beautiful these covers are like come on please oh my gosh i need to be sedated or something i sometimes i am too much read the shepherd king duology i'm not messing around you guys all right, I think this is the only nonfiction recommendation I have. I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. People around my age, us zillennials, most likely know her. 
as Sam for my Carly. This book, read the trigger warnings, please read the trigger warnings. But it talks about like the behind the scenes of what was happening with her life, with her relationship with her mom as like a child actor, what was going on behind the scenes of iCarly, and then that eventual spin-off show with Kat and Sam that I don't know the name of. Such a good book. There are some people I want to recommend this book to, but I don't know if they're in the right place to read it, you know? But anyway, so good. Jeanette, I'm so sorry what you went through. Oh my gosh. So good. Go read it right now. Okay. Okay. This next series, I need to take some deep breaths because I just want everyone to read books. Like reading is so great and reading is becoming more popular, which is good. But also don't support problematic authors. Support and make sure to diversify your reading. Make sure to read about characters that don't have the same skin color as you, don't have the same body shapes as you and sizes, don't have the same sexual orientation as you. Diversify your reading, please. Anyway, this next one. We got some POC main characters. Also, I will note, I might be behind on the train. I didn't read this series until maybe two years ago. My sister has been telling me to read this since she was in middle school. So it's been a long time. The Legend series, oh my gosh. I will note, in my opinion, it's much more plot driven. We love the main character. I just like stand strong female characters so much. And there's a difference between like a strong female character and a strong misogynistic female character because I found that's an issue with a lot of characters in a lot of books I read that I found like on book talk and just like common like modern day most recent books. Don't make them look the like whole like oh I'm not like other girls and like hating on other girls and what they like. That's not cute. That's not it. No. Please. Leave that. Leave that in the trash. Anyway, Legend series. I am obsessed. This might be like a top five series for me of all time. So good. The books are stunning. Look at this. Beautiful. I can't say enough nice things about this. You'll just have to read it. That's the only option. You're just gonna have to read it. And I said this before, but I'm just gonna repeat again. Nothing is sponsored here. I'm not getting paid to say anything. These are all just my like genuine reactions and how I feel. Okay, our next recommendation that I've kind of seen on BookTok, but not quite as much, is Anxious People by Frederick Backman. Is this the only book with a man a male author that I'm recommending. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, there are two, there are two. Eee. Anyway, Anxious People is like a murder mystery. So well-written, so good. It's not like a book I normally would go for, once again, recommended by my sister. We take her recs very seriously here. But it's just like such a fun mystery. It's like a like very obscure group of people find themselves in a situation together and they have to kind of work around it. It's just so good. Please read it. All right, now we're gonna go to my non book talk, booktube, bookstagram, mostly book talk, because that's where I spend most of my time. I will note though, I spend most of my time there, but I don't really, I'm not as active besides just like mindlessly doom scrolling. So if you want to see more from me and what I'm reading and my opinions about anything, subscribe to the YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Dietitian EMK. I also talk about nutrition and hiking and what not. These are kind of my three main personality traits, you know? I will not allow capitalism to niche me down. <laughs> it's fine. We're, We're fine. fine. Okay, so the first recommendation, and you're gonna see this and be like, what the actual F, Emily? Why are you recommending this to me? The Hunger Games. I'm saying this is not a book talk recommendation because this series has been around for a very long time and it has been very popular for a very long time. So that's why I'm like, when I'm saying book talk, like I feel like 
most people find recommendations from there. So that's what makes it a book talk recommendation. People did not find the Hungry Names from Book Talk. It has been around. If you have not read this story or the series, read it. I'm so sorry for her behavior. Who is the sedative? We need it. Like there is, Pete in my opinion is the best book boyfriend. I will die on that hill. Literally die on that hill. But also in this crazy, crazy world we're in right now, sometimes these dystopian books just hit a little too close to home. So well written though. Oh my gosh. Suzanne Collins, the woman you are. Read The Hunger Games if you've not already. Next recommendation, you're literally gonna be like, Emily, I'm so over you. The Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. This is not a book talk recommendation because this is our second male author recommendation, lol. Percy Jackson did not get found because of book talk. There's a huge Percy Jackson fandom on TikTok, but it did not get become popular because of that. If you like like fantasy, this is young adult, I will note. Just so good, like if you like the Greek gods. Oh my gosh, it's just such a like, this book holds just such a special place in my heart, the series. And where are my Hunters of Artemis gals out? Our next recommendation. Oh my gosh, oh my God. The Darkest Mind series. Another recommendation by my sister. I should just, we should just all listen to my sister because she has great recommendations. Darkest Mind series, another top five series for me. It's like all these like kids develop kind of different ranges of powers. The government sees them as like infected and they're trying to either like weaponize them or take them out, you know? So good. Plot twists are crazy. So good. I read this probably annually because this series just makes my heart so happy. Our next recommendation. So this is kind of an odd one. I'm not calling this a book talk recommendation, the natural series, because Jennifer Lynn Barnes, her The Inheritance Games series is huge on book talk, huge. But I don't see the naturals getting enough love. Think like criminal minds, but like kids where they have trauma that has led them to develop different skills that would make them really good in the FBI setting. These books are kind of scary. I will note, like, I think they're young adult. I think. But, also, can you hear that car alarm? Quinn, whoever's car alarm that is, turn that off, please. I'm gonna just hope that it's quiet enough that you guys can't hear that. And it's just me. <laughs> so, natural series. Think, like, oh my gosh, it's just, I love good plot twists. I'm always one to like want to figure out what's going on, guessing the plot twist, like the mystery. Each of these are like, huge, there's huge mysteries in all of them and there's an overarching like mystery of that they're trying to solve. So good. A little bit graphic. So like, if you don't like gore, like Criminal Minds-esque graphic stuff might not be for you. Read the trigger warnings, read the TWs, read the trigger warnings. It's so good. How are we doing? How's everyone holding up? We're almost through it. But we're talking about books. How can you be upset, you know? How can you be not having a good time? Our next recommendation, we're gonna put it right here. Miss Beercrest Saints by Aurora Reed. This has one of my favorite tropes. It has like academic rivals to lovers. I love academic rivals to lovers so much. And it's part of a series. In my opinion, this is the best one of the series. You don't, they can rewrite a standalone. It's like there's some crossover with characters, but they don't really affect it too much. I would highly, highly, highly recommend reading this book. I think it starts from like middle school and goes to high school-ish. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I just love academic rivals to lovers. Sue me. Oh my gosh, my next, next recommendation, this is because this is my comfort read, Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. I read this book when I was a wee little child. Strong female character. I just realized it has this on it. I don't normally like stickers, but I guess in this case I'm fine. It's not really a sticker because it doesn't come off, I don't think. We're not gonna try to because this book is old I try to keep my books in good condition. That car is really driving me crazy. Whose car is it? I really hope you guys can't hear it. 
city things. Any whom, I would just, we're just gonna ignore them. Strong female character, obviously. Like, are we surprised at this point? This group of girls, like, there's this prince and he needs to marry someone, but all these girls get selected from their town and they have to like go learn how to be like ladies and potential princesses. And it's just like so fun because there's like bonding with like the girls and like girl and female empowerment. And it's just such a good book. It's interesting because I don't like people on my covers. She's on this cover and apparently I'm fine. I also have owned that for a while. So my standards do change, I will know. Next one, I do not own this book yet. Fake Emperor by, they turned off the car alarm. Blessed be. Okay. Her next book, Fake Empire by C.W. Farns. Think like Gossip Girl, but like rich, obviously. Gossip Girl. But like super high up, kind of arranged marriage as. And they're like, I think they're in their mid 20s. It's just, I, I don't know what it is. I like write, reading books about rich people and very successful people. I am neither. Well, success is subjective, I guess. I'm very happy in my career. Education went pretty well. I have good health and family and friends and relationships. Maybe I am successful. Anyway, but the rich thing, definitely not. <laughs> dietitian salaries anyway our last two recommendations we're gonna kind of go with these at the same time love in other words by christina lauren and swear in this life by renee carlino they give off very similar vibes to me but i love them both this book might be a top five book of all time it's like childhood friends to lovers to strangers to friends to lovers you gotta keep up you gotta keep up and it's just so sweet and cute and i love it so much this book is also like childhood friends to lovers to strangers to friends to lovers there's so much noise today is it because everyone's celebrating saint patrick's day don't worry guys i have my my green socks courtesy of my patient one of my patients okay anyway this one's like related to writing this one they rekindle it's like work locations, I believe. Just so cute, so cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. But those are my top recommendations at this time. So like, if there's anything that piqued your interest, go check it out. I would be wary about going on like the socials about it just because of spoilers. You don't, you don't wanna get spoiled. I will know all of my Goodreads and Storygraph reviews do contain spoilers for the most part, like probably like 95% of them. So be wary of that, but definitely check them out. Let me know if you read any of these. Let me know if you also share love for them. Let me know if there are any books I missed. I will note there are quite a few problematic authors that I do not support, or if I do read it, I will always note in my reviews why I do not support this author. So just something to kind of be wary of, but lots of great options to start with like i said diversify your reads like i know there's a lot of information out there but like make sure if there's like a booktuber or book talker that you really like everyone's different everyone has different preferences so find one that kind of like you resonate with or like they have similar taste to you but i also challenge you to once again diversify your reading read about different characters of race sexual orientation, religion. Yeah, diversify your reading. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you're new, welcome. So excited you're here. Having a great time. And if you want to hear more from me, please make sure to like this video. Helps me a lot. Subscribe. I have been exploring more of the reading space. I was doing a lot of dietitian content, I will note, but then I was doing dietitian stuff all day long and then dietitian stuff all night long and it just felt like my only personality trait was being a dietitian. And I think that's what capitalism wants. And I did not like that. I was not having fun. 
quality of life, not great. So I'm excited to talk more about reading with you guys. We'll also be talking more about hiking with my trips coming up and whatnot this year. But I'm so excited you're here. Welcome to the reading community from yours truly. If this is the first thing you're experiencing, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And we will see you next week. Bye. Enjoy reading. Have the best time. Support your local authors. Support your libraries. It'll be great. Okay, bye.